Angels are saying, sit this one out, Leo, because they are going to fight this battle. They're going to wage this war, and the devil knows his time is up. Okay, I was just going to say, you just need to sit back and watch the SHIT show. You don't need to take any drastic action at this time. You don't need to do anything crazy, okay? Grab your snacks, get comfortable, get your snuggie on, get yourself a nice robe, okay? Get yourself those slides, those Adidas slides, okay? You will celebrate with a Capricorn. This divine counterpart, you were supposed to come together back in 2022. It's something about the 222 portal. Oh, this is the second time I'm doing y'all's read. Hello, Leo. How are you? Welcome back. Starsies out here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is whatever comes up. It is a general read, so take what resonates. Leave with us if you hi, cross watchers. You are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the Leech link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support, and with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guides in this read for my Leos. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Okay, Leo, what do we have here? Look, y'all, this is the second time I'm doing y'all's read. Because the first read was just... It, 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 it was just a mess. So this is the second time. And I'll let you know if it's similar. It's already looking like it's going to be similar with the dice. But, you know. And so we have number three upside down. The Empress in Reverse. Venus Retrograde. Then we have... Uranus. The Star. Aquarius. Then we have Sagittarius upside down. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And Temperance in reverse. Jupiter retrograde. What do we have at the bottom? The Page of Wands. And the Eight of Cups. Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Hierophant, and the Emperor. Okay. I'm going to... So the first read, Leo, was about a Twin Flame coming back to you. Twin Flame, Soulmate, whatever, coming back to you, but like it being staged by a Karmic. Now, I'm getting really a lot of similarities here in this read. We're going to keep going. Um... Because I do want to see if the message is different this time around. But I definitely am getting a similar energy. Which is really crazy to me. King of Cups on the side. Eight of Swords, yeah. Yeah, and the Seven of Swords, y'all. Because the Queen of Swords, yeah. So why am I redoing the read? Because I feel like I got caught up in the energy. And I lost focus of the message that... You know, the primary message that Spirit was trying to tell me. So, this read is for those of you that are on a Twin Flame journey or on a Soulmate journey. Uh, uh, an individual, a counterpart that went and chose a third-party karmic, right? And I'm going to say what I was getting in the first read. is something here, like... The two of you were, you and this divine counterpart, you were supposed to come together back in 2022. It's something about the 222 portal. And it was something here like, had Leo come in union, had come into union with their divine counterpart around 2022, we would have gone into a higher state of existence, the whole world, okay? Okay. I'm really getting like the world would have been so, so different today had this occurred. And what I'm saying here is that the timeline has been shifted. The timeline was shifted. Time and fate and destiny was changed because of this person's choice to pursue this karmic, okay? Number three, upside down, the Empress in reverse, that is a karmic. 
you know, this individual chose to have, you know, the star, Age of Aquarius, with a karmic. But that's over, okay? It's over between them and this karmic. They are both defeated. But the timeline was altered. Three of Cups, Temperance, King of Pentacles, the Sun. Okay. I'm so happy that I read that you read because I feel like towards the end it was psychic attack. So I did a cleanse, meditated, did frequencies, and I'm, I'm so happy because in divine timing, Leo, you will meet a Capricorn. Okay? You will celebrate with a Capricorn. A Capricorn, sa a Capricorn Sun Sag Rising, okay? Specifically. Now, for some of you, this could be a Sag Capricorn Cusp. But you are going to be with a Capricorn. You are going to have a brand new beginning with a Capricorn, okay? Now, like I said, for some of you, it could be a Sag Cap Cusp. Some of you could be a Sagittarius, but for most of you, I'm getting that this is a Capricorn, okay? I said Capricorn a lot, so <laughs> this is your sign, love. This divine counterpart that you had a destiny with, they failed their assignment. It's very much showing me that. It's showing that they failed, okay? Jupiter retrograde, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Temperance in reverse. They failed to step up to complete their divine assignment so it's a wash however leo and i'm saying this because i i read that you read right i lost track in the first read but this read i will not lose uh, track because i cleared the energy you need to be really careful about your counterpart coming back in because they're only coming back in per instruction by this queen of swords third party this queen of swords karmic wants to send your counterpart in to make a love offer to you only to sacrifice you in the end and this is the truth okay this queen of swords would love it for your chosen counterpart to be the one to sacrifice you and whatever way that implies and your counterpart they're weak okay i'm just gonna call it how it is they're a weak person they're a weak man or they're a weak woman and you can send this to them and show that to them okay because they're scared of this karmic and i really get this energy of like they will do the karmic's bidding like they will do as the karmic tells them so you need not take any risk with this individual leo because you're moving on to bigger and better you're moving on to glory okay and that's just what it is. You don't need to, you know, re-engage yourself or recommit to recommit yourself to somebody that was out here on some weird SHIT. Because when I tell you this counterpart of yours was out here doing some weird SHIT with a weirdo karmic, that's the T right there. They were out here thinking they were going to be the next Bonnie and Clyde or something. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, right. My ASS, they're going to be the next Bonnie and Clyde. They're going to be in jail real soon. So you have the sun here and the world. You have a beautiful brand new beginning. Okay. Leo, you have a beautiful brand new beginning ahead of you. Your life is going to get better, brilliant. Okay. Rejuvenation, love, light, peace, happiness, bliss. Live, laugh, love, happiness, right? Like you're just going to be on top of the world, Leo. So... Do not concern yourself with this, this, you know, this soul contract, it is a wash, right? And was the karmic able to delay, you know, earth coming into her glory? Yeah, I guess, you know, you know, we can, we can give these karmic credits like, okay, yeah, they delayed, right? The earth going through her transformation, but they only delayed it, you know, they can't stop it. Like mother earth, she's going to transform and evolve. And people in their karmic energy are not going to be able to survive the transition. You know, that's just the truth. Lower vibrational evil people, narcissists, okay? They're not going to be able to survive this transition, y'all. I know everybody's saying, like, it's going to be like this 
mass awakening and you know people are going to be love light but that's just it's just not true i'm sorry a lot of these narcissists and ego people they're going to start dropping like flies okay they're going to start having stroke they're going to start having heart attack <clears throat> even you know they don't even have to be narcissists or anything like that like it could just be regular people but you know the diet right and this is why i you know even on my instagram i have spoken about like the importance of hydration and eating more fruits and vegetables and healthy carbs and pulling away from like heavy meat and fats um because you know, our body is changing with these energies. We have to remember that, you know, we're transitioning from one dimension to the next, and there are going to be changes. So this karmic, yeah, okay, they could have delayed, you know, peace on earth and whatnot. And we'll give them credit, but they still lost because they're not going to be able to make the transition. And this plot, to sacrifice you, this isn't going to work. You already know what time it is with this individual. Yeah, justice, the star. Look, Leo, you just need to sit back. <laughs> yeah, the high priestess. Leo, you just need to sit back, knight of swords. Look, 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 okay, okay. King of Wands, judgment. Leo, you just need to sit back and watch the shit show. Okay, I'm just going to say, it. you just need to sit back and watch the SHIT show. You don't need to take any drastic action at this time. You don't need to do anything crazy, okay? You don't even need to speak, okay? The high priestess is somebody that doesn't even speak most of the time, okay, Leo? You don't really need to speak. You don't need to explain anything. You just have to sit back and observe the SHIT show because the judgment is about to be cast. And you see, this king of wands, this king of wands right here, this is the culprit. This is your counterpart, your long lost counterpart that fell from grace and judgment, forgiveness. They're going to come back to you wanting your forgiveness, but it's a trick. It's a flop. Okay. It's a deception. This individual just wants to trick you. So then they can do something, nine of swords at night when you're asleep. Okay. You let them into your home. You, you go meet up with them at a hotel, Leo. They will attack. Okay, they will sneak attack. They will launch the attack, okay? They are being sent to you by this third party because this third party wants justice. But you see, for a lot of you, I'm seeing here that you're not taking the bait. So these two are going to crash and burn. And I feel like that's the SHIT show that's about to occur. And you're also going to get a love offer from a Capricorn. So you just need to sit back. Yeah, five of wands. The devil okay and the lovers these karmic connections are coming to an end these people are defeated leo okay you are the victor this lifetime spirit has already ruled and even the devil and the demons have already ruled okay the fallen kingdom okay the negative extraterrestrials okay because they do bet on us as if we were stocks they do bet on us as if we were stocks so you know how when a stock goes green and you know it's it's in the green right you're in the green leo meanwhile the karmic is in the red your twin flame your soulmate is in the red everybody that betted on your karmic winning this lifetime okay these these higher dimensional beings and these lower dimensional beings that betted on the karmic defeating you this lifetime or the karmic having some type of victory over you they lost a lot of money because I'm telling y'all, they literally have bets on us, like sports betting or like the stock market and whatnot. Like they literally place those bets. And right now, Leo, it is showing that you are the victor. You have won this lifetime. Some of you, this is like the second lifetime you have won in a row where you have defeated these people. For others, it's the third lifetime where you have successfully navigated danger navigated all the obstacles that these energies and entities have placed against you <clears throat> so right now the devil is in chaos and he doesn't want you to be free but archangel who was it archangel gabriel he's casting the judgment here 
so it's over, and you just have to sit back and watch the SHIT show because they really are about to, they're going to start dropping one by one, and that's it. And that's basically the read. Any final messages, Spirit? Because we don't have to stay here too long. Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. This karmic thought that they were going to have the Ten of Pentacles with your divine feminine or your divine masculine, but they don't have squat. And this did not move forward the way these two thought it would. These two are both in the Five of Pentacles. And that's why this karmic wants to exact vengeance. Because this karmic feels that they are the true divine feminine, that they are the true divine masculine to your counterpart. And that you are the third party, that you did black magic, and that you caused an inevitable end to this karmic relationship. So I'm telling you all the energy has shifted. You see in the you see in the reads. You see it in the reads, Leo. Leo, these reads where almost in every other read, the karmic and these divine, these fallen divine counterparts are breaking up. You see the energy is shifting, right? Because now the messages are starting to come in. And now people are messaging me, telling me that my person reached out to me, they're not with the karmic anymore, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's changing. The energy is shifting. And now the karmic wants to instigate their final plan. Girl, bye. Boy, bye. <laughs> bye with that final plan. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You just need to sit. Leo, you don't even have to do nothing. Okay, spirit is going to move you. Like, you you have, like, a blessing over you. You truly do. You, you literally do not have to do nothing. You just have to watch the collapse. That's literally it. You just have to watch everything collapse, and then Spirit is just going to move you on out there. So grab your popcorn, okay? Grab your snacks, get comfortable, get your Snuggie on, get yourself a nice robe, okay? Get yourself those slides, those Adidas slides, okay? And enjoy, okay? Seven of Cups, get yourself some, some wine, love, okay? Because it's about to be a show. It's about to be a show, and it's not just this karmic and your person. Like I said, it's other karmic connections and karmic family members. They're going down, okay? It's going down. I'm yelling timber. Remember Kesha? It's going down, okay? Spirits had enough, and the devil is about to be in chaos. Yep, temperance, and the five of wands. Oh, you're Leo. Your angels are getting ready for war here. Your angels are going to fight this battle, so that's that's why they're saying, no, Leo, sit this one out. Your angels are saying, sit this one out, Leo, because they are going to fight this battle. They're going to wage this war, and the devil knows his time is up, okay? This karmic knows this time is up, that time is up. This fallen twin flame, this fallen counterpart, they know their time is up. Your enemies know their time is up, okay, Leo? So you just have to sit back and watch this SHIT show. And in the end, you're going to have the Six of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to be able to easily move into calmer waters. And you're going to meet the love of your life and have a happily ever after. So that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.